Hare Krishna. Everything that happens may not be God's plan, but God's plan can work through everything that happens. When someone does something terrible, and especially they do something terrible to us, we may get the question, is this God's plan? Now, this is a very difficult question to answer because ultimately nothing happened outside God's jurisdiction. At the same time, it is not that God personally wants evil things to happen to anyone. God essentially is all good. And certainly he doesn't, the two different things, one is something evil happening to someone and second is somebody doing something evil to that person. So God certainly doesn't want people to do evil. So there is God's supreme will, but there is also people's free will. And how they interact is not so easy to discern. The overall principle is that God, God sanctions our actions, not that he intends our actions always. In 1323 in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, that upadrashtan mantacha bharta bhokta maheshwara paramatme tichakyokto dehe svin purusha paraha. That upadrashtan and mantacha. That Krishna is the overseer and the permitter of all living beings, of everything that happens. Means he is not the intender, he is not the desirer, he is the permitter, the sanctioner. So, so, when some people do something terrible, is that God's plan? Well, rather than thinking that something which somebody has done is not God's plan, we need to revise our understanding of God's plan. God's plan is resourceful enough and resilient enough to act through both human compliance and human defiance. That means if somebody does something good, we, could, we may say this is God, that God is acting through this person. Yes. But God's plan is so resilient that rather than thinking of it as simply one path, we could say it's one direction, one purpose. And even if somebody goes off course, somebody does something which is different from what God want, would have wanted them to do, but still God can accommodate them and further his plan even through their actions. So rather than obsessing when somebody does something evil, did God really want them to do that? We should focus on what does God want me to do. And in principle, that is clear that Krishna wants us to have a service attitude and try to serve him to the best of our capacity. If we do that, then he will make sure that, he, that we will be cooperating with his plan and we will further our spiritual evolution and our ultimate set, uh, progress towards satisfaction, irrespective of whether other people are complying with him or defying him. Thus, even if everything that happens is not God's plan, God's plan, God can make his plan work through everything that happens. Thank you. Hare Krishna.